We've got football on a gorgeous day here in Santa Clara as we are situated at Levi Stadium. Today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Again, everyone, Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. They've been playing their best football of the year, winners of four in a row. And if you look back to last week, it was all about their defense. Anytime you hold an NFL team to single digits, that's saying something. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they're hitting their stride of late, winners of three of their last four. And last week, they put together a three touchdown victory and were never challenged in that game. Let's see if they have a little bit of a letdown here. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, week seven is underway on EA Sports. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they'll be let out by their quarterback now in his third season in the league. But when I reviewed last week's game and saw the four touchdown passes that he threw, I thought about you during the Turkey Bowl last year. Yeah, you guys right. had the same stats, except he got the NFC Offensive Player of the Week award with his. Uh, he got touchdowns, I got picks. <laughs> I like going back watching the film with you, and we thought it was a good performance in person, obviously was, but you thought even better. And oh, right away the football and it looks like one of the dbs has it and this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line to put it mildly that is not the way anyone wants to start off a game you fumble on your first offensive snap but now what you're worried about is does that linger throughout the game for your guys on offense and how's the defense going to handle it because no one expects to run out on the field on the first play and have to all of a sudden start to play themselves so the Rams in great position here as they get things started. And they will be let out by their rookie quarterback. And so often when you've stolen a possession, as they just did there. On the first play. First play, picking up the fumble. The natural inclination is to attack, go after big. Sometimes what you just want to do is put the ball in the hands of one of your best players in one of their favorite plays and establish your dominance that way. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Downfield. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. They go play action here on first down. And an off balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. A little second effort there on the strong run. And then drop just inside of the 20. Call it seven yards on the carry. It's a pretty good game, but still left with a top third and eight. Back to throw. Bush. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. This will be caught at about the five. Able to get nine out of that pitch and catch, but now third and goal. Angeles. A great play there. 
His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Rams use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point attempt to follow here. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. A drive that time of six plays. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. He's got to clear his mind a little bit right now. One carry, and that carry was a lost fumble. Clear his mind, clear his hands, and, this, and just let this one go. Sometimes it happens. You drop the ball, get a full game ahead of him, hand it to him again, see if they can start to produce. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. They find some open field here. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And now off to the races down the right side. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Purdy. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, this defense for the Rams, they were terrific a week ago in that win over Detroit. And every defensive team that we talk to, they spend a lot of... And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. And the Rams will take over here. 14-yard line. So a first interception thrown for him there, and that really not the best decision either. Not at all, and that's something he did not do in their victory last week. No interceptions in that game, but this defense, they're able to take advantage of an early mistake. Now let's see if they're going to turn it into points. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got him that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The catch and run, good for 24 go, yards. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Off play action. Bush. Looking left side and it's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So from inside Niner territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. That is incomplete. Here's second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll look to throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. Week seven action, and we've got a seven-point game here in the second quarter. And this offense hoping to change that right here. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Good solid gain on first down, about what you'd expect from the big guy carrying the ball. 
They'll try to run this one in. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Rams go up by two touchdowns. Well, fair to say they've got something here, this rookie running back, and he's in for the second time of the ball game. And, Brandon, it's a position where there's often a lot of turnover, a lot of competition at that spot. But he's proven to them that he wants to be the bell cow guy that his franchise can rely on. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going, but when the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it, and let's go with it. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. So here are the Rams to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. Throwing to start the drive. Bush. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw. Bush. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The one thing we certainly know, he likes to take those risks deep downfield during games, coverage or not. The coverage was there on that one. No catch, but he's also fortunate. No turnover either. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone that plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Leading the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he is going to have the Rams first down. Boy, that was a tough couple of yards to pick up, but they convert on fourth and one. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Operating from the gun, Bush. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, he leads the NFL in interceptions and nearly added to that time. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a pro bowl type season for him. And the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player. But sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll go down at the 28. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Back 
to throw. Bush. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop any of those. But third down coming up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 52 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. A great play there his way to a monster game three first half touchdowns and the Rams would extend their lead here just before halftime so he had the nice run to get him down there was stopped just short of the goal line but they go right back to him CD and he delivers to finish the drive off a little extra determination there don't you think partner you notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say get me out after the run down to the end zone he said i almost got in i'm gonna get in on my own i'm staying in and he carries it across the goal line so not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away and not wanting to risk anything here late in the half he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The throwing here, Purdy. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Purdy to throw it on first down. The same target, same result. It's Kittle. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And his kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've come to halftime. It's the visiting Rams taking the lead to the break. Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Wrap up. Still moving. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. Ready. Ready. Looking to throw, Bush. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Two catches in the first half, now he's got a third here and it's good for a first. Off the play fake, Bush. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Off play action. Bush dancing to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Randy Gregory able to record his fifth sack of the season. Third down and 13. 
Back to throw. Bush. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's 24 to three. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. He'll going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And yeah, that will bring up second down. Now Purdy. Out route to Hill complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. McCaffrey on the counter and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. McCaffrey running up the middle, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. On first down, Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dick. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Brandon Ayuk, halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the 49ers are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Moody good with the extra point, and that cuts the lead to 24-10. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. 
continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play, but in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. Off the play fake, Bush. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on the offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. 77 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That good for 22 and a first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Talanoa Hufanga in on the stop. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Off play action. Bush rolling to his right. And he is caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Another run on second down. Trying to cover up. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third and goal, option right. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. It's their quarterback. Touchdown number 18 of the year. And the Rams have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit-crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. Well, the 49ers settling in for their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second... Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And to the 43, so down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. 
There they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. A good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. And they'll come up second and seven. They'll try and run this one line up the gun. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball pop free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Ready, set. Now a first and 10 at the 11. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's brought down. 125 yards rushing for him now as he's toted it 21 times. Brett, and every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission. Uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Rams up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Now the try here for the point after. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the drive there took six plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And Hill will opt for the touchback. Purdy with one final shot here. Eluding the pressure right. The ball comes out, and this will go out of bounds. So no recovery, and that is how this one will come to an end. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? 